I'm Teresa Strasser and you're on the list. Christmas is over, but the lights are still glowing. Mike Brookbank takes a look at the best holiday light displays around Cleveland. At number one, let there be light. Everybody come out quick, look at the light! <laughs> the holiday season is still shining bright in Cleveland, and here's our list of places to keep the spirit alive. Check out the impressive illumination over at Neela Park, an East Cleveland tradition that goes through New Year's Day. Next, take a stroll through Public Square. The lights in the center of town always attract big crowds in each quadrant of the square. Finally, Crocker Park, where you can score some post-holiday savings and savor the spectacular decorations. At number two, Dressing Dapper. Bond. James Bond. It's the accessory Bond made famous, the bow tie, and it's a hot accessory during the holidays. Problem though, I like many guys, don't know how to tie one. First time I tried to tie one, it took me like 15, 20 minutes. WEWS morning reporter Terrence Lee likes the look so much, he dresses up on Fridays. Gotta class it up. Why not? Bring a little class to Cleveland. It's already a classy place. Make it classier. Terrence took me under his tying wing, but as you can see, I may be a lost cause. The longer side. Which take it. Here? There's so many things happening. I know that. I know. Not all the way through. No? No. Like Fred from Scooby-Doo. I have to laugh at myself. Do you like the bow tie look? Let us know on my Facebook page. At number three, ready to ride. A sure sign it's winter, as MTV Ray's indoor bike park is packed with riders. The 150,000 square foot facility keeps bicycle pedals turning in Cleveland despite the change of seasons. The old factory is packed with all new courses and will attract more than 20,000 riders now through April. Now you're caught up and clued in around Cleveland, I'm Mike Rickbank.